Hi guys, today we will be talking about thematic of perception test. The thematic of perception test is a projective psychological test. This test provides information about an individual's views of self, the world, and the interpersonal relationships between our responses to TAT cards, and this will reveal hidden emotions and internal conflicts. Now, who made this TAT test? Henry Murray and Christina Morgan developed the TAT in 1935, and David McClellan revised to that it could be applicable for the measurement of human needs in research settings and measure motivators of different people. The test is intended to evaluate a person's patterns of thoughts, attitudes, observation and capacity, and emotion in responses to ambiguous test materials. The test administration had quiet room with only test taker and test administrator present. The test commonly uses 20 TAT cards, 8 to 12 cards acceptable. Test takers were asked to explain stories aloud. The story should include details such as what has led up to the event shown, what is happening at the moment, what are the characters feeling and thinking, and what is the outcome of the story. The complete version consists of 32 picture cards of male figures, female figures, both male and female figures, ambiguous gender figures, adults and children. Some pictures show no human figure at all. These cards are used for subject to tell a story and the scene. Results. Psychologists can interpret what they want. There are no specific guidelines and it's based on hypotheses and theories rather than facts. There are many applications to TATs, such as occupation, mate selection, personality and thought disorders, dreams, and forensic examination. TAT is advantageous to administrators as it can observe nonverbal cues such as anxiety levels, eye movements, and body language, as well as procure deep inner thoughts about the patient. However, it is an inconsistent scoring method, very time-consuming, tedious, and can only be administered by highly trained professionals. The validity of TATs is quite unpredictable, as it might show high or low levels of attribution to the card, such as the Walter Mitter effect correlating to high attribution and inhibition effect correlating to low attribution. Reliability Measures of reliability based on internal consistency are not appropriate for TATs, meaning that there is no accurate representation of reliability. This is a TAT. Observe it. How would you create a story with this? Do you have any questions? Created using Powtoon.